Hello everybody, I am here with Marlon at Karma by Erwin Gomez Salon in Park Potomac and she is going to transform my old blowout into beach waves. Let's get started. So, what you want to do is you definitely want to start with dry hair. You want it to be semi-clean. If it's not, you know, if it has some product in it, that's totally fine because that actually is going to help us give you amazing texture. So you want to just really brush your hair through, make sure it's not tangled. And then just decide where you want to wear your hair, where you want to wear your part. Today we're going to be doing a middle part on her. You see how that just like fell into place, made our lives easy. Yes. And then you just want to section the hair from the front. You want to section the front from the back. I'm going to use a little bit of a working hairspray, which is really soft, really flexible. This is by Orbe, and this is just going to help us hold the hair. So now that we have our product in, we're going to split this section in two, so it's not too big. And all of the curls that are closest to the face, I always curl them away from the face. Once you start to travel within the hair, you can go opposite directions just because you want it to be undone. You don't need it to be perfect and you don't want these curls falling into each other. You kind of want them pushing against each other. So one way to make sure that the curl is gonna go away from your face is by having this clamp right here to the front. So you wanna make sure your curling iron is vertical and you wanna always make sure the hair is elevated parallel to the ground so that you still get some lift towards the root. You're gonna place your curling iron inwards vertically, clamp it, and then you're gonna spin your curling iron counterclockwise. Now we're gonna leave out about an inch to two inches on the ends, curl everything in, and then as you're releasing, you wanna twist. Twist and release, twist and release. Smooth out those ends. Now you're not gonna mess with it. Now we're gonna have the clamp facing the back. So this clamp here is gonna be facing the back and now we're gonna rotate clockwise so that we get it going forward. So clamps to the back and then now you're gonna rotate clockwise. Again, elevating the hair so that it's parallel to the ground. And we're gonna leave out the last like inch to two inches. You don't want your ends to look stringy and undone, but you also don't want them to be curled. As we're releasing, we're gonna twist and release, twist and release, and kind of just bring it down. Your barrel is an inch and one fourth of an inch, so you kind of want to keep it the same size as your barrel, depending on the look you're going for. Okay, y'all, so honestly, it's been a long day, and I haven't eaten in a long time, so I am gonna chow down with Marlon right now because she's awesome and she lets me and all of her clients eat while she does her hair you know two in one so excuse my eating <laughs> mm. so let's now. so one nice little trick too to ensure that you're not curling the end once you reach the end and you're pulling out the curl just pull straight down because that's going to help to elongate your curl and that's going to also help to smooth your ends so that they're not frizzy, but also it's not going to curl them because you're pulling out straight. Cool. Right. So now, on to the back. So this is where I'm totally just like, we're just going to curl and go, curl and go. Now for this last section here, I like to... This one we're gonna split it up in three just because of how like wide it spreads across the you know her head. So we're gonna flip that over here. So I like to always bring this like super high when I curl it just so that we can keep volume. I love some volume. So I'm gonna lift it up and I'm not gonna start turning until I get a little bit away from the root. And then now we're just gonna keep spinning. And because this one's a little thinner, it definitely is gonna warm up a lot faster. And then twist and then pull those ends down. Same thing here. We're just gonna take this section here. Lift it up. 
We want this going to the front, so we're gonna keep that clamp in the front. Now for this one, we're definitely gonna break these up. These we're gonna pull, we're gonna curl going toward the face. Now once you finish, before I break them up, I kind of just check. You want to check for some that might have fallen. Do a little something to this one. I need to practice with this type of iron. I've never yeah. learned on a Marcel, but I've always seen them. Once you get I knew it. It's more style, like stylists use these more often, yeah, right? Than definitely. everyday people. Yeah. So yeah, so I've used just a normal spring clamp and then I also have a wand. What, like this for me though makes life so much easier. Comment below if you would watch a video on how to use a Marcel iron. They're life changing, look at this. You don't I really need to, to learn, so <laughs> it may happen anyway, but comment below. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna break all these curls up. We're gonna break them up from behind, always starting underneath, putting a little oil on our fingers to reduce frizz. And you just want to rake your hands through. Like literally use it like a rake. You don't want to pull, you just want to separate. So now, let's bring it to the front. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. I love... You're so good at this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I like how you straightened the ends. Mm -hmm. I never do that. Yeah, so like this like, is so cool. And, and it just looks so modern and yeah. so trendy, you know? So it's like you don't need it, they don't need to be like limp straight, you know? Like it has some smoothness. That's why I said pull it down yeah. so it's smooth and it looks purposeful. So and then cool. I'm gonna grab this amazing product. And they're like messy, like it's like Exactly. So we're gonna use a Prey Beach by Orbe. This amazing product. It's like a beachy wave spray. So we could easily spray in like dry texturizing shampoo, something to give a ton of volume and texture and grit. But I like to prolong hairstyles. So using mm -hmm. something softer that's gonna give you separation but not a ton of buildup, I feel like it will benefit better. So you always wanna shake the product first. And now that we've broken it up, we kind of just want to spray underneath. So I like to spray upwards first so that we get that volume from the spray, spraying in the opposite direction. And then we're going to do that on the opposite side. And if a curl is ever clumpy, just pull it apart. You know, like don't, you don't want to pull it through too much because you don't want to now make these curls straight, but you don't want them living together. Pull it forward. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I love it. And then I'm just gonna show you too. So you see the curl here that's going towards, you know, it's mm -hmm. framing, it's yeah. framing the face. Mm -hmm. And you can do it the opposite direction and go away. It really just depends on the look you're going for. Mm -hmm. But I love always doing that first underneath, going there, because it just it's just adding it's a right silhouette. There. You yeah. know, like with highlighting and contouring with your makeup, this is highlighting and contouring with your hair. Your contour <gasps> that depth there to frame your face for yourself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just learned so 
many things. <laughs> awesome. That's, this is so with. awesome. Thank you so much, Marlon, for teaching of course, all of anytime. us how to do this beach wave look. Always. I'm so excited to try it myself. And let me know if you guys try it out. And all of the products will be listed down below. And don't forget to follow the both of us. See you guys later. See you later. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,